Hello there everybody, I'm Fabian and welcome back to the channel. So this week I'd like to give you five reasons why the Shoei Neotech 2 might annoy you a little bit. So this video is a follow-up of another video I made where I give you eight reasons to get this helmet. If you've not seen that, I'll put a link up here or in the description box below. Now that was an insanely positive review and I still love this helmet, but I thought I'd let you know of the few things that I do find annoying about it. So let's get started. Number one, I found it to be a bit of a strange fit if you've got a bit of a long head like mine, um, you'll find that it's kind of very tight on the front and the back. It's kind of very boxy, it's very square. I'm usually a size small, and I found the size small too big on the sides, but I was unable to go down to an extra small, which is this size. It was just impossible to get on. So it may not be for your head shape, so it's worth trying them on and really getting a good idea of whether it's for you. Number two, leading on from its strange fit, I do feel the look of the thing is very bulky. It's a bit of a lump, and almost anyone I see wearing these, they do seem to have that big head baby look. So if you prefer that sleek, sportier look, this helmet may not be for you, and you may not actually want a modular helmet at all. And number three, this helmet does not have any double D-ring um, way of fastening it to your head. I'm a strong believer that they are the safest, the strongest, and actually the most simple to use. I personally am not a fan of these uh, clips with just plastic bits. Not strong enough for me, and they also mean that you can't use your helmet lock if that's a thing you like to use. And number four is weight. This is a size extra small and it comes in at 1.65 kilos, which actually for a modular flip-up helmet, that's not too bad. However, compared to more simple styles, that's quite a lot. You can often find helmets that are four, five hundred grams uh, lighter than that. So really take that into account whether a modular helmet is what you want. Personally, that's a bit heavy for me. I prefer simpler helmets that are lighter. And number five, finally, the thing that's most annoying about this helmet is the price. I mean, you're looking now around 450 pounds, maybe even more in some cases. And if you want to get graphics on there, you're looking even more than that. I mean, that's a hell of a chunk of change. When you can get a simpler helmet that is, you know, can give you just as much safety and protection. Uh, so that's one of the major downsides. It is expensive. That's it, thanks ever so much for watching. If you haven't seen my first video where I give you eight reasons to get this helmet, I'll put a link to that on screen here. Thanks for watching, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.